the scariest first date in history. This title isn't clickbait, it's a harsh reality. And as soon as you hear this story, you feel like the title of this video couldn't have been better. If you think there could have been a better title, be sure to let me know in the comments. Let's dive straight into hearing this story without any delay. For those who haven't been on the channel, be sure to subscribe. Let's start. Back in the 1970s, there was this young guy and young girl, and they go out on this first date. And he says to his date, do you want to do something kind of unexpected? I oftentimes go for walks out in Provo Canyon. It's a really cool spot. And she's like, okay, let's do it. And so they start walking into the forest. As they were walking, they hear a rustling sound kind of off to the side. And at the exact same time, the guy steps on something that he described as being soft. And they practically ran back to their car. That was the whole date. They wound up getting married. And 10 years later, they're at home and the TV is on an interview comes on and it's a journalist talking to a death row inmate. The journalist asks him, was there ever a time that you almost got caught before you got caught? And the serial killer is like, yeah, I was out in Provo Canyon and I just killed a girl and I was trying to dispose of her body. And this young couple comes turning around the corner and they stepped on the body. But for some reason, the couple didn't look down. They just turned and left. And so it turned out they had come in contact with Ted Bundy, like one of the most infamous serial killers of all time. Wow. Oh my God. Listening to this story, it's so terrifying to imagine where this situation occurred and how the people involved in this situation must be feeling. Just imagine if the timing had been slightly different and it had been fixed in such a way that the dead body fell on the top of the guy. Perhaps the title of this video have changed today to murder on the first date. And another horror thing is that if the girl had been there alone and no one was with her, perhaps this serial killer would have killed the girl too. But when God wants to save anyone, then there is no power in the world who can undo this. It's a good thing that God saved them. And listening to this story today, we can somewhat feel that fear. But the people who experienced this at that time definitely grasped the seriousness of it. What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for listening and supporting me. Take care.